Final Cut Pro is one of my favorite video editing programs for Mac, and if you're watching this video, I'm guessing it's yours too. So today I thought I'd share with you my favorite free plugins for Final Cut Pro. Let's dive in. Now, first up is a plugin that I use on almost any video where I show the screen, and that's MCAM Rig. Let me show you what it does. So you can see here, I have a video of my screen recording, and I'm going to add MCAM Rig. I'm gonna drag it on the footage here because of the title, and you can see what it does is it zooms in on the clip, and then zooms out. This is great for showing details in the screen recording. And of course you can drag around this little area here and pick what it zooms in on. And I'm gonna do the edge here. Then I'm gonna go back and show you the settings. I love that it lets you turn the animation off or on for in or out. That is such a great option. You can also choose how much it zooms. And additionally, there's also a lot of blur effects. I like to actually select this infinite focus option and let's go back and see how it looks. Perfect, it's such a great way to show something in a screen recording. Now, next up is a plugin that I use in almost all of my videos also, and that's Alex 4D Grow Shrink. Now you can see here right now, the screen is slowly zooming in, and this is how I do it. So you can see here, I have a talking head clip here of me, and the camera is static, but we can drag on the Grow Shrink plugin here, and you can see that the screen slowly zooms in. The best part about this plugin is that you can choose where it zooms in, just like that. And additionally, there's a bunch of options here for choosing the start scale and end scale. So let me start it zoomed in and then end up zoomed out. And you can see now we're zooming out. Additionally, you can choose a curve to change the speed of how it moves. Overall, a great plugin to add some motion to your talking head videos. Now, if you've ever been editing a project with multiple clips, you know how annoying it can be to apply the same effects to every clip. And that's where an adjustment layer comes in. There are so many free plugins for adjustment layers. They're all kind of the same from my experience, but the one I'm gonna be showing is by Ripple Training. Let me show you what it does. We'll type in adjustment layer, and you can see RT adjustment layer, and we'll drag that on our clip here. And you can see I have an ungraded clip here, so it looks a little dull. So let me go over here to our effects, and we'll pick up a LUT, and we'll apply that to the adjustment layer. And you can see it applied a LUT to our footage here, so it looks great. Of course, you can apply any effects that you want and change other options, and that'll apply to everything underneath it. As you can see here, I have a second clip that's vertical, and it's ungraded, but we can drag over our adjustment layer, and now it looks good too. Now, speaking of vertical clips, if you've ever tried to add a vertical video to your project, you know how annoying it can be to have those black bars on the side. And that's where the next plugin here comes in. It's called M Vertical. And what it does is it blurs the sides of your footage. So you can see here, it added the blur on the sides. Now, my favorite part of the plugin is that it also offers a ton of options. For example, you could change the brightness and scale of the background. And of course, the blur intensity. Overall, just a great way to add vertical clips to your video. Now, if you've ever tried to show a photo or a logo on your screen like this, you know how annoying it can be to animate, but there's a better way. Let me show you. You can see here I have a clip with a screen recording and then a logo shows up. Now, this is a compound clip I have here. You can see how it's laid out and then I'm gonna hit back here. Now, what I'm gonna show you now is the Tap 5A quick in and out animation. So let me drag that on the clip and you can see what it does here. Really smooth, really clean way to show images on your screen. And of course, there's a bunch of animations you can choose from. I love to do the fly in ones. So we'll do fly out to left for the out animation. And let's see how that looks. Perfect, such a clean way to show a logo on screen. And of course, you're probably gonna wanna add a little sound effect in there too. Next up is a great plugin for adding ambiance to your clips. And the plugin is called M Light Diffuse. What this does is it actually looks at the footage that is on screen and actually adds a blur effect to the light. Now let me show you what it does. You can see here I have a little clip of the sunset and we're gonna add M Light Diffuse. And you can see here there's six different versions to choose from. I like the M Light Diffuse 3, so we're gonna add that on. And you can see by default it adds some grain and it didn't really do much to our footage. And what we can do here is change the diffuse amount. And you can see here, it changes the brightness of the diffuse. You can also change the threshold, which changes what is being diffused. And I like to turn off the noise. And I also like to turn off the reflection opacity. By default, there's a reflection. I just find it very odd. So I'm gonna turn that off. And there is also an option to change the color of your light. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more yellow. And of course, let me see here. Now let's play. Now that looks beautiful, but let me just show you a little bit of more crazy example, just so you can see how the effect is actually doing. So you can see here, it's adding a glow effect to all of our footage. Uh, of course, this is kind of an extreme example, but you get the idea. Here's one of the other effects on a clip of the moon I have, and you can see it adds a nice little effect there. Next up is a plugin for people who love motion blur, and that is Pat Nagel's Motion Blur. Let me show you what it does. Have you ever tried to speed up a clip just like this and it just looks kind of uh, boring? You can see here, it doesn't really give you that time-lapse effect. Now I'm going to add Moderate Motion 2 Blur here 
onto our clip and let's see how it looks now. So you can see it actually blended the frames together here and now it looks a lot more cinematic, a lot more time-lapse-esque. Just a great way to add motion to your clips and not make it look like a slideshow. Now our last plugin is also by Pat Nagel. It's a super simple plugin that shows name tags on other people. I use it a lot during my vlogs. Let me show you how it works. So you can see here I have a clip of Megan in Banff overlooking the view. And let's say we want to add a little Instagram tag to her. Let's go get our Instagram tag title here. You can see it's right here. We'll drag it onto our clip. And you can see it has a nice little effect that pops in and it has uh, an Instagram tag. Of course, we can change the username here. The thing I love about the plugin is you can also do a name or something like that. Super simple. And this pairs super well with the built-in tracking that Final Cut offers. So let me show you how that works. We're gonna go to our video section here and we're gonna go to transform. And I'm actually gonna track Megan here on the left. We'll just select the bounding box here and I'll hit analyze and it's tracking the motion of her as she moves around the scene. And you can see now that our name tag is actually assigned to her movement. And of course we're gonna have to offset it here. So it's actually under her and we'll hit done. Boom, such a great way to tag people in your footage. And that's it for my favorite free plugins for Final Cut Pro. Now, if you want links to any of these plugins, check the description below. I'll include links to all of them. Did I miss a free plugin that you love? Definitely let me know in the description below so I can check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.